everybody, it's Mercy and I'm back again with another video. This is to show you how to make some planner stickers. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the following. I have been watching Home Mesa videos, as you guys have noticed, about doing planner stickers. So I watched a video by Olga Art Mingle on YouTube, and she gave a Home Mesa resources for free printable planner stickers and I went down the list of the ones that she had included and one of the places was vintageglamstudio.com. So this is the one that I found has the most usable planner stickers that I found. The other ones I didn't find too many. So she goes ahead and she puts um, all her information here. She does have an Etsy shop and she gives away a lot of freebies all the time. So if you just scroll down through her pages and there's 33 pages because I went through all 33 yesterday. It took me a couple hours and you can either download the file by clicking here on the link or you can click on the picture itself. So right here, she's giving you the, um, calendar, which I don't need that. And here she has some more little checklists for each day. She has it in blue and she has it in pink. I don't need that either. Here are the planner stickers. So here's the first one. I've already downloaded it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it just in case, because this was me trying to learn how to do it yesterday. You can either click on the link or you can click on the picture. It doesn't really make a difference which way you do it. Then it's going to take you here and you are going to be able to see what the stickers look like. Now, if you're going to cut them out by hand, then you would go ahead and just print it out directly onto your Avery um, paper. And I've been using the Avery 8165. Sorry, something just fell. Um, and you would just cut it out by hand. However, I am gonna use my Cameo to cut it out. So what I do is I click on this arrow down here to download it. It goes ahead and it downloads it into my downloads right here, but it also gives me the PDF version here. And right here is where I would be able to hit print and then I could print it out and cut it out by hand. So I don't need this because I am not going to print it out and cut it by hand. I'm just going to download it. So what I did is on my desktop, I made a folder that says planner stickers. So all I do is I open up my download, pick it up and drag it into the planner stickers folder. However, I am not going to do that because I already have that file. So <clears throat> I'm not going to put a duplicate in here. So these are all the files that I've gotten from her and I'll make it bigger so you guys can see. She has a huge amount and there are tags, there are journaling cards, there are card fronts. She has lots of different color combinations for the stickers. They are so cute. Like, look at that. How cute is that for fall? And look at this one as well. Like, really cute, cute stuff. So she has a million of them. So all you would do is go ahead and pick which one it is that you wanted. I downloaded all of them to make sure that I had them. So this is what we are going to do. I'm going to pick one. So this one is called Bold and Bright Planner Stickers. So now from here, I'm going to escape out so I can see it. And then I don't even know where to put that. I'm going to go to my silhouette file. And then I'm going to go to my regular page. And I've done this a couple of ways, and this seems to be really easy. You take it, you drag it over to your page, and then now you're going to get a pop up box once this goes away. So you see that it's working. And now it's going to ask you, do you want to import it as vector? Now, I had watched a video on this, and they said to import it as a vector. I tried to do that on every single one of the DPIs that they had here. None of them worked. Not one of them worked for me. So I'm just importing it as an image. I originally tried it at 1200 DPI. So that way I could get the most clear resolution for my image. However, every time that I tried to do that, just 
just like when I was trying to import it as a vector, it would make my computer crash. So it would crash the studio, Silhouette Studio software. So I'm just leaving it at the 72 DPI and I'm going to hit import. So now here you're going to get this box. Let me move. Oh, I guess you can't move it over yet. But it brings it to here. So now you have the whole entire page here on top of your regular page. Now here you got an error message because it says low resolution, this design may print in low resolution causing graininess and pixelation in the printed artwork. For a higher resolution print, you will need to make the image smaller. Um, since it keeps on crashing when I try to put it at anything over 72 DPI, I'm just gonna have to live with it. Um, so this is what I do. I go over to my paper size and I put it in eight and a half by 11. Then I need to put my registration marks for my Cameo. And I don't know what just happened. There you go. Then you come over here and normally it's not this big, like the other times it has been smaller. And I just take the paper and I make it fit. So here it's fitting. I'm making sure to stay away from that black area here. And now I'm making it fit so that way it stays within here. Now I'm going to make my screen smaller and I am going to the trace menu up here. Select trace area. I'm going to, I always do it really big to make sure it's actually capturing everything. Then I'm going to put my high pass filter all the way up and hope that it does what it needed to do. And then I'm going to say to trace outer edge. Okay. So now it's selected something. Now here is the part that's good because the last time I've made this video already like six times and it hasn't worked. So whatever. Um, this is what you're going to see. Now, if you see here, you have some of them that are going to cut out as a rectangle and some of them are wavy lines and some of them are dots and some of them are a whole mess of things. So this is where you need to start getting creative. So I'm going to release compound path, click off, and then I am going to take this craziness out, take this craziness out, this craziness out, because I don't want it to cut like that. Oopsie. And you have to be like really careful to not move as many things as possible. And I am going to try my best. What else did not cut out correctly? Okay, so down here it tells you for personal use only and it tells you the bold and bright planner stickers and all of this information from where you got it from. Obviously, I don't need that for my planner, so that is also going to get cut. I don't need to cut that out. And I'm going to make sure to get my stuff. So, now I'm looking at my original, I look at this, and I see that I am missing some rectangles. So all I'm going to do here is that the rectangles supposedly are the same size. So I'm going to duplicate. I'm missing two up here. Then I'm just going to go ahead and move them over to where I think they are. Then I'm going to duplicate again. If it will duplicate. And I'm going to take that one here, put another one over there, and I'm just, oopsie, undo that, and keep on filling it in, and then I will move them more or less in the general position of where they should be, and then you'll see. Okay, so now that I have all of them back, what I'm going to do is click on this one and I'm going to send, if it clicks, um, send to back. And now I'm going to put this page over the other page. Wow, that just scared me. That's my Simpsons tapped out. Somebody came to visit my Simpsons tapped out game. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in even more to make sure that I see. So I see that I lined up my circles more or less. I lined up my orange. This was one that was not correct. So 
I need to make sure that my circles stay lined up and some of my rectangles stay lined up. And then I need to make sure before I move anything that I am actually clicking on the rectangle itself. So as you can see right here, you see the line and you see the cut line. So I need to click and you see I just finished clicking, but it's not clicking on the line, the cut line. Now you can see this, the rectangle here. So now that I have this, I can go ahead and push it over, push the cut line over if it'll click again. Because if not, you're moving the paper around all the time. And you have to make sure that the paper always stays here. So this is a little tedious, but it's, you know, what you can do in order to get your file for free. I think that this is great. If there was a way for me to do it with the vectors, that would be perfect because then I wouldn't have to worry about having to do this. And in truth, I don't mind, you know, wasting a little bit of time in order to get it. Why is it not picking up? I thought I had put this to the back. Here you go. You see, I just moved it. I got to make sure that I don't move it. And then I move it over. And this one is off by just a touch. There you go. Then um, here you have another one. And I just try my best to eyeball it. And then here's the last one that needs to be done. And I move it right there. So now I can go ahead and zoom out. And if there's any other ones that you want to go ahead and move out of the way, you can go ahead and do that. Once you have it more or less the way that you want it, I just click off. I zoom out pretty far. And then I, tra I trace my line and then I group it all together. So now both of them are stuck together, the cut file and the actual printing file. From here, I go over to print. If it'll do it, it's thinking about it. I go over to print, I select I have two printers, but the one that I would use would be the Epson. And then, let's see, eventually. In my Epson, I have two trays. My first tray has um, eight and a half by 11 paper. The second tray has 12 by 12 paper, so. Darn it, and it fell again. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and take this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take one sheet of the sticker paper. I'm going to put it in my printer, and I am going to print it out. Um, and then when I come back on, it's going to be to my desk top. Oh, another thing before I forget is that the first time that I had done it, I had printed it with quality. And now this time I'm going to try normal vivid to see how that works. So I will be back in a couple of minutes to show you how it came out. Okay. So now I'm back. Um, I went ahead and I printed out that sheet and I also cut it, cut it with my cameo and this is what it came out to be. Again, the colors are not super vivid. However, you know, it's, you know, pretty good for what it is, uh, you know, whatever. So the one thing that I do wish, and I'll try to see if I can do it afterwards on another one, is to put a black line around each one of the articles, each one of the items, because I don't like that they sort of like are just like, free I don't know it just I need a little bit more structure so I need a black line around each one of them so okay so now I showed you guys how to print it and how to import it and so on and so forth so I went ahead and I had done that already with one of her files so this is my plan for next week 
so this was last week's this was my trial run and now this one is the one for this week and I stayed in the yellows just because I figured that it's the um, like very um, January New Year's you know you have the black with the gold and stuff like that so that's why I stayed in this color combo so the one the file that I had gotten from her is called mellow yellow and this is what it prints out to have I do have some left over however let me grab those really quick so I do have some of the sheets still left so I have these arrows, I have an envelope, telephone, um, utensils, a bow, uh, some kind of a little star, some more arrows, the little checklist and the smaller checklist and then this one says call today, email today, don't forget, bills due. But if you see here this, let me see, if you can see this one, the bills due, it's very light because it's a light gray. And when I printed it, it just, you can't even see it. It also brings the little quarter sheets. It brought these flowers that are here. I want to put them here. It has the weekend. It had um, this flower and this flower. I had two little hearts. This one says gratitude and this one says love. And then I put the don't forget the email today and the call today here. And then I put the to-do list here. And I have the little other lists here and I figure if anything else I can always add more of these little heart to-do lists and these are the little ones now I do have a smaller journal a smaller planner however the smaller planner I use for my bills so let's see where's January so here's another thing that I do with my planner but this I've been doing faithfully this is one thing that I haven't not done this is my calendar now with the calendar I have in here like the birthdays of people my family friends and stuff like that so I have that for every month let me show you my planner my build planner because this one's a little bit different I do have to do this to this one but I haven't done it yet and let me show you for a month that I don't have okay so this is my little planner and if you notice I have different colors of the washi tape and this is that um, recollections washi tape the one that comes in the tape dispenser here is one I just got this one today this one's the the neon color I have the pastel color I have the primary color and the neon color the pastel color those are so light for the most part that you can hardly see them so some of the colors are really really um, you can't really see them. So here I also have the birth birth dates for everybody But like this purple the dark purple signifies that this is payday the 14th of April And then payday again is the 28th. So every time that I do my two weeks That means that all the bills within those two weeks have to get paid for that payday So that's how I do my bills. I'm also going to do that for this big planner I just haven't gotten it done yet now for the inside, the inside of this planner looks exactly like this one. The bigger one is just smaller. Um, here though, I'm not going to do any of the decorating. And the reason why is because I'm going to use this more like a diary kind of thing. Like what happened that day. So I'm going to line these with my paydays because that's super important. And then I have my planner my planned week out for the next week then I am going to come back hopefully next Sunday or Saturday to plan for the following week um, hopefully you guys were able to see how to grab the file from a website how to actually make it usable on the cameo so that way you can print it out um, if anybody has any suggestions on how I can do this better because it does take a little while and you guys know how to do it better because I am NOT that tech savvy um, go ahead and let me know please because that would be fantastic um, thanks so much for watching please make sure to give me a like a thumbs up um, please subscribe and comment I really appreciate it okay thank you